Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Toe TV. I am Mary Beth. I am Helen. And we are the creative hands and minds, creative hands and minds behind Toad Hollow. Not it sure is, where that was going. I, I don't even. I don't know. I was looking at this, thinking my forehead is so big. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so it well, at is, least I have a title for it now. Yes, my forehead <laughs> is so big. It is Tuesday, June 1st, so happy June. Happy June. Yeah, into a new month. All right, um, so I hope you guys had a good weekend. It was, um, it was busy. We, um, everybody around us is now down. Everybody came down. It poured rain. Um, we we actually put the heat we back on. We put the on. heat back on because it was so cold. Helen was just talking about the fact that we have gotten fans We've gotten these things that you put on the back of your neck to cool your neck down for when it's really, really hot and we're dying yarn. Um, we've gotten all these things in to cool us down, and then we hit 48 degrees and had to put the heat back. Because <laughs> it was I so mean, there cold. was one walk that we went on with the guys on, was it Saturday? Yeah. We were actually wearing our winter coats. That's how cold it was. <laughs> yeah, Memorial Day weekend, and we're wearing our winter coats. So, Welcome to New Jersey. Yeah, <laughs> it's just, it was crazy. But, we were talking to our cousin, and uh, he was saying that uh, Memorial Day will go one of two ways. You come down, and you rush to get everything done, opening up the house for the season, um, so you can go to the beach. Or you rush to get everything done to open the house up, so you can go home, because it's so cold. Right. It was the latter this weekend. This way, they had the fire going. Yeah. The entire, because the, their house is not heated at all, and they had the fire fireplace going all weekend, so... It was a chilly, chilly weekend. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Um, I know. I mean, all the rain that we we're supposed to get in the month of April and May came on Friday and Saturday. Right. It rained a lot. It did not rain in April or May at all, but we got it all. <laughs> We've got our quota. It's we're good. good. We're good. <laughs> uh, the people across the street came. They haven't been down since last fall, and they have a great big white great Pyrenees. Pyrenees. Her name is Bachi. She's absolutely stunning. When they walk her, she has a fan base that just follows her along. Also, Bachi has her own pace. Oh my god, yes. It's slow. Very slow. She just kind of... Uh, but but she's she gets, such a love. Oh, she's, she's absolutely beautiful. But um, they've got this lead set up outside so that she can sit outside and be watch everybody without having them right on top of her. Well, she decided that she was going to take it, and they've got these bushes. So she has now made herself a clubhouse in the bushes. She was lost in the flowers. And she's just, like, sitting there barking away. <laughs> you can't see her. It's just this bush that's barking. And every so often you hear, oh, bocce. <laughs> now the landscapers are there to spruce up for the summer. And we figured they said something because they had to come out and get Bachi out of the bushes. Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure the landscaper went into the bushes and was like, oh, look, you've got a horse. <laughs> There's a miniature pony in your bushes. <laughs> I'm not working in there. There's not room enough for both of us. <laughs> she is absolutely enormous, but oh my god, she's so, so beautiful. They take such a such oof. good care of her. I know she's, she's white, beautiful. but she's she she glimmers. Yeah. And she's so clean and just absolutely beautiful. Yeah. So yeah. Can you tell we're dog people? Yeah. Honestly. All right, so um June first, we got stuff to talk about. Shall we do June yarn first? Uh yeah. Okay, we're gonna wait for the Coast Guard to go overhead. Okay, so June Yarn. June Yarn started out as a mistake, which a happy accident. Right. You know, we were starting to dye one color, and Helen said, oops, I poured it into the wrong pan. <laughs> so <laughs> we're like, but it's so perfect for this character from, right. the, from Alice in Wonderland that we said, oh, it's got to be. We weren't even planning so much to do this character for June. It just happy accident. Right. So here we go. Let's see if you can guess who it is. Ta da! This is the yarn. So we have it in fingering and decay. It is just really Riot Alice in Wonderland. Yeah. Landish. Um, so the name of this yarn is 10 over 6. 10 slash 6, which is. The sign that is in the Mad Hatter's hat. We just thought this just screamed the Mad right. Hatter. So this is 10 over 6, the Mad Hatter. This is up in the shop now. Um, it's uh, 
orange and green and purple and pink. And just, if you think about the uh, Johnny Depp. Yep, Mad Hatter. Purple coat, bright orange hair, right. green vest. It's perfect. Perfect, absolutely perfect. So in my subconscious, when I was making the mistake, I knew what I was doing. Yes. All along. Well, look, it's one of our happier accidents, right. it really is. So uh, we took that pan, put it aside, because we did this back in, you know, April. <laughs> <laughs> and then just redid it. Right. So everything is stocked in the shop. It is ready to go. Um, so yeah, that is June's yarn. I love it. Love RDK. It's so squishy. I know, and I just, I really love the fact that we have the White Rabbit from last month, which was um, a little bit more muted. So this was the White Rabbit last month. That's muted. And this month we went, pow, in your face. Yarn in your <laughs> face, aunt. <laughs> yes. So I should explain that. <laughs> we were having a Zoom conversation with our nephew last year. Two years ago. Two years ago. Um, and he was not really interested in talking to us. He was having his salami and his father was making him talk to us. And then, so, so we said, do you have salami? And he comes up to the screen really, really close and he goes, salami in your face, ants. <laughs> so it has stuck. <laughs> he probably doesn't remember it, but no, we do. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, 10 over six. The Mad Hatter. Right. Only one color this month because um, it's such a bright, happy color. Right. It just, it deserved its own yep. spotlight. Um, so that's that. That is that. Okay. Um, Harry Potter orders are coming in. So if you are interested in the Harry Potter Club, it is now available. It will not be open terribly long, but it is now open. So if you want to become part of it, we send you a mystery skein each month. It comes... Uh, you're sent an invoice on the first of the month, and then we ship it out in and around the 15th. We are doing the uh, professors at Hogwarts, and last month we did... It's there behind, Quill. Cool. Okay, so last month we did Flitwick. And these are blues and grays. Flitwick is uh, the head of Ravenclaw. So we did the Ravenclaw colors. Um, we wanted to include him, but all the pictures we found were black and white. And right. you know how we feel about black and white. So there we go. That is that was so this was May's yarn. June's yarn will be going out in and around the 15th of the, of the month. So um, if you have already purchased it in the past, you will most likely be getting your invoice today and you can go ahead and pay it whenever. Um, and if you have not, if you're not part of the club already, you can go in and search Harry Potter Mystery Yarn and this will be right. one of the ones and you can do it. Okay. All right. So I think what we have left to talk about is the Triwizarding Tournament, which right. is fairly big. Yes. So we have uh, signups open for that in both Facebook, uh, the Facebook group and the our Ravelry group. Okay. So the Facebook group is Crafting with the Toads. Um, and our Ravelry group is the Crafty Toads. Right. So you can sign up either place. It's just saying, hey, I'm interested. I'm going to join so we can get an, an initial list of who's joining. I did see in our journal from last year that we were starting the Triwizarding Tournament a week late because we needed to get the yarn out to everybody. So. Okay. So. Actually, not the yarn out because we were trying to catch up from Maryland. Right. Um, so we're, you know, par for the course this time. We're starting two weeks late. <laughs> <laughs> So the tournament will start officially on June 15th. We are going to let you know what the projects are today so you can start to plan because we're not telling you specific projects. We're giving you what we would like the end result to be. Right. Um, so you can go and pick your projects and you can knit, crochet, sew. Paper mache if you want. Right. However you want to do it. However you want to get me in just a minute. Okay. So... It officially starts on June 15th and goes to July 15th. However, if you want to get started now, right. go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, but... Um, and we have... Oh, well, first we'll tell the project so okay. we can explain the yarn. Okay, right. so the projects for June are... It's a little different. Pushing out your comfort zone. Although for some people, this is, they're right. sitting there going, shut up and tell us. 
Okay, so the projects are, we would like you to make two stuffies. Can be whatever you want. We would like them to be five to six inches tall, please, not amigurumi, although if you want to do those, then Just make a, a whole bunch of more. You know? Yeah, it's, but, a, it's, it's, and I mean, it doesn't have to be like, you know, oh my God, it's four and a half inches. It's not going to count. Yes, it will. It's a picture. Right. I'm not going to be able to tell. I don't need you to like put things in for scale or anything like right. that. It's just, um, a mid size stuffy. You know, yeah. Make it take a little bit of time. Right. Don't do something that you can whip up in the, in an afternoon or something like that. Um, and so you can knit or crochet. Um, you can hand sew, uh, like with wool felt. You can machine sew if you, uh, that's your, Float your boat. Right. Um, there are tons like, of great I mean, little stuffies that you can do using the machine. Yeah, somebody I was I follow on Instagram uh made her son uh bear out of uh minky fabric. And he loves it so much he had the bear had to wear an apron and have breakfast with him in order for him to sit still to eat breakfast. Oh my goodness. So Okay. Um, yeah. So there are I mean there are tons of options out there, which is kind of why we're giving you the heads up so that you can plan everything and decide what you want. Also if you choose to get the mystery box from us, um, it gives us time to get them to you. <laughs> right. But, so the mystery box is, you're gonna get two 50 gram skeins, um, cause one 50 gram skein should be enough to do each animal. And just so you know, there's DK weight. Yep. And- There are two different colors. Two different colors, but based on these colors, the animals you will create will fit very well in Wonderland. They're not gray or brown. I was gonna say. These are not drab colors. No neutrals. And this is not like your typical, hey, I'm going to make a mouse, so I'm going to use left-handed. Right. Um, these are, you can be bright, happy animals. Al Alice in Wonderland-y animals. Yeah, so. Yeah. All right, so two stuffies. Um, I have my eye on a cat that I'm going to try and crochet. <laughs> Just putting it out there. It looks like something that I should, even I should be able to figure out. So um, I have my eye on that. Is that in a book or was it in? No, Ravelry? it's in a book. Okay. It's in a book. Um, however, I think the book is free on Kindle Unlimited. So if you are on Kindle Unlimited, there's a ton of books out there that have crochet animals or knit animals or that kind of thing. Also, and I'll try and remember to link the book uh, down below. Okay. Arnie and Carlos. Are, have just released a new stuffy for their Freya dog mm -hmm. that is a poodle. So if you love poodles, go check out Arnie right. and Carlos's website. They've got a new pattern for that. Um, and it calls for DK weight yarn. I know that some of them call for worsted, um, but I figured you just use the DK and it may be a little bit smaller. And a lot of the ones that we saw on Ravelry that called for worsted were actually, the yardage wise was right. our DK. Cause um, we did a little bit of research and the, most of them that we found that we were interested in doing were the DK ones. Right. Um, so I know um, Susan Claudino, she goes both ways, um, fingering or DK. But if it calls for fingering, just do it in DK. Uh, it's just going to be slightly bigger. Right. All you have to do is, you know, you're, you're going to have to figure out what needle size works for you to get your gauge. But um, yeah, other than that, it's just going to be slightly bigger than the fingering weight. Yeah. Helen and I took a mouse that um, was about six inches tall and just blew it up and made it so that it was it was a lot, uh, taller than I am. Yeah, it was. I was uh, gonna say it's life size, but that's yeah. like pretty scary life size. Mouse. Yes, <laughs> he was dressed up in a red devil suit, human size. <laughs> he he used to sit out in front of our toy store on a bench and just people. It would make people stop and want to come in and see you know who puts that out. So you should have seen us lugging him I was in and out. Say. <laughs> We, we were stuffing him. We got a great big box of stuffing. And we're like, ah, that's plenty. We went through like I three that, boxes. I think that fit his foot. <laughs> he was so big. I remember knitting that. We were on our way to Maryland. It was I, just... I was like in the, the <laughs> widest part of it. And it was just like, oh my God. <laughs> Never so going to stop. <laughs> this was not Maryland Sheep and Wool. This was when we were going but... to visit my brother when he was in Maryland. It was just, yeah. And this was 10 years ago. Anyway. Um... Yeah, so you can we see alter. If we can find finger, fi, uh, pictures of him. You can find. I mean, you can alter the size of an animal, right? Um, by using a different weight yarn or just making it bigger. Um, it's just you know you got to figure things out a little bit. Yeah, but yeah, this is this is the challenge. So two stuffies because we thought uh, 
two skeins of yarn, two half skeins of yarn, and um, we were thinking we're going to do a cat and a rabbit, I think, because of Alice in Wonderland. But um, we also have felt kits that we're going to be doing because we love those. And we have several uh, books. Yeah, I mean, we have the... We have the Cynthia Treen podcasting uh, felt wool felt kits. Um, they will work as well. So that if you want to learn how to hand sew a, an animal, we have those kits. Um, we have the wool felt sheets. If you have another pattern that you want to go from, um, so yeah, it's going to be just it's something fun and different, right? Um, and also achievable in 30 days with while doing other things you don't have to devote all 30 days to that right. particular project so um so yeah the so if you want the mystery yarn that's also available in the shop just search try try wizard and it should come up um and we will be getting them out in the next couple days yeah so we have um we're going to we have the sign up on ravelry and the facebook group we are going to be putting a separate thread for that will tell you exactly what the challenge is that will go up tonight in the Ravelry group we'll put a thing in the Facebook group about what it is the challenge is so if you want to go over there to see exactly what we're doing um, and then we're going to have a thread for finished objects in Ravelry right. so that when you finish your stuff and you want to put up your pictures to show that you're done if you want to do it in Ravelry we'll have a separate thread that is just finished objects and then we'll have a th um, in Facebook, we're going to do what? Are we going to do a hashtag that we can search? Okay, so for Facebook, we're going to have a, a hashtag that is T H Stuffy, S T U F F I E. And post on on Instagram as well because we'll search there. Um, and bonus, I got my curious handmade newsletter last week, and um, Helen Stewart is running a knit along all summer long for. Um, St stuffed animals I think she's trying to get 20 stuffies done so it's not all summer it's from now until the end of the year that she's trying to get them done so she's trying to get her push herself out of her comfort zone and knit some stuffies so she started a knit along to try and you know encourage her to do that and I thought Ugh. as always Helen Stewart and us are thinking on right. the same we wavelength. are on the same wavelength right. um and I believe she's doing prizes and things too so you can enter that too right um so there is no set pattern. So whoever is out there going, what's the pattern? There is no pattern. You have to find your own. Um, but it can be any animal you want. It can be a person. If you want to make Alice from Alice in Wonderland, that works. It's you're making a stuffy. Right. Two, actually. Two stuffies. Two stuffies. Okay. All right. So we have given you your marching orders. And Go. if you have questions, just put them either in Ravelry or the Facebook right. uh, event and we will try and answer them. Right. So, on your mark, get set, make stuff, stuff. By the way, making it, I believe is starting this week. Yes, I think so. I think it's starting Thursday. Yeah. And America's Got Talent starts tonight. <gasps> That's right. Yeah. Yay. Okay, so, we gotta get to work. <laughs> yeah, we got stuff to do, because <laughs> we got good TV coming. Right. All right, so we hope you guys have a great rest of the day. Go forth and create. And we will see you on Friday. Bye. Bye.